So today, you know, since it's about uh, Superfit 60, so I thought I'll give you three valuable pillars for Superfit 60. The first pillar is that every meal has to be an extended time celebration with your food. Food ought to be very intimate with your life because food gives absolute nourishment not just to your body but to your mind, to your thoughts, to your behavior, to your attitude. So whenever you eat, if you really put your heart and soul into eating and eating becomes a complete total celebration, one hour, 60 minutes of chewing and eating peacefully so that all micronutrients that you break down in your mouth get supported by saliva for digestion and eventually when it goes inside, it is an absolute paste form. So, in Ayurveda, it is called Rasayan, the Ras of the food, the Nichol, Jaisa Bolta na Nichol, that everything has to eventually become biochemistry, Rasayan. And this Rasayan is like essential nutrients, which eventually come together when you absorb from that whatever you chew. And this is only possible when you chew close to 60 minutes and literally 60 minutes of eating time. Brushing through food is aging because when the food goes in indigested, undigested, lots of toxins get harbored into the system. Our organs begin to age because kidney, liver, pancreas functions, they begin to fall into disorder, discomfort, disease, etc. Then there is malfunction. After there is malfunction, then the malfunction becomes a disease of chronic and then obviously it's decay and then obviously it's death but this happens over decades so why if we eat 60 minutes well peacefully and chew it very well we'll be able to suck out the smallest minuscule nutrient out of every food which we call micronutrients so macronutrients are consumed and micronutrients are assimilated absorbed and everything that gets absorbed in the most minuscule and micro state B is with you for long B is with you for long why do you think our forefathers, our grandfathers, grandmothers at 85, 90 were strong, straight strong spine, strong legs, stable and all the faculties working because they ate well they ate slow they slept well they woke up with the sun they slept by 8.39 or 10 latest. Yeah, that is one. Now the principle of 60 breaths. 60 minutes of breath throughout your day. Now if these 60 minutes are divided into 6 zones. 6 time zones. So 1 in the morning. 1 pre-pre-lunch which means between breakfast and lunch. And 1 just pre-lunch. So that becomes 3. Then one, two hours after lunch, then one around sunset and one around evening time. So I'm saying six times, 10 minutes each. If you do that, you will be fulfilled with the oxygen content. That oxygen content will fulfill the needs of all your cellular regeneration. And that oxygenated blood will go and reach out to all your organs and cells for them to get revitalized, rejuvenated, they will become young again. So food makes you young, oxygen makes you young. Also the oxygen load in the body, if it is optimum, in optimum capacity, what typically happens is you are alert, you are awakened, you are awake and you are bright, you are responsive. Your reflexes are sharp. That means lesser chances for you to fall. Now, when most senior citizens fall at 60 plus, the biggest damage is done to their bones. Okay, they break the hip bone, they break the knee, ankle, whatever. So there are good exercises that Dauna certainly teaches you. Weight bearing exercises, body weight, which will make your bones denser but something which will give you coordination and balance and something which will give you a little more strength into your bones is I would say six times in a day 
do two to three minutes of squat walk with knees high, but never after meals, never after meals. So if you do that, trust me, let's say if you want to do it three times, so look, cut it down to three times, but 20 times each time. A, your metabolic rate will be accelerated. B, your circulation once again will get spiked up. C, once again the oxygen intake in your body will grow and your bones will become strong, your muscles will become dense and whenever your lower extremity is become strong, it's a sign of anti-aging. Lower extremities, they provide the fundamental platform for your base. And if you are walking well, marching well, standing well, if at all there is a malalignment, it will get corrected gradually. Of course, with Bauna's exercise of arching, moving back, all that are fundamental, but these will support you. I have a holistic health road, and we look after all geriatric problems, senior citizen issues. Not only we fix the ailment and the pain, but we make sure that the occurrence, the chances of occurrence are minimized. So we make you capable, we educate you, we make you capable. We also give you a learning experience of balance and coordination through therapy. So some with equipment, some without equipment. But my therapist literally works on you, manipulates you in a way that if you have, you know, if your spine has come contracted, constricted, they will open you up. They will elongate your hamstrings. They will stretch your quadriceps because they tend to become tight as we grow. And also mobility in the axis of the spine, mobility in your Q angle. All you ladies normally have Q angle here on your hip joints. And also we will check your SI joints, etc., your neck issues, your neck connected shoulder issues. And we will be able to figure out where the pain and the problem radiates from and where the effect is. So please, you are welcome. If you wish to have a nutritional support where we do a lot of Satwa Gun nourishment and we combine cosmic nourishment. So this whole formula put together will put you on the path of cellular regeneration, which will spike up your health, healing, restoration and repair and take it to a very different level. And most important, know that you cannot be, you cannot play the victim of destiny and your genes and identity. No, it's in your hands. You have two legs to walk towards your destiny, hands to co-create it, mind to perceive it, heart to believe it and a spirit to achieve it. We are human beings. We are not animals. Animals can be destined, but human, human beings can write our own program. We can write our own program. We can mentally rewire ourselves. Okay? We can write a new genetic code for ourselves for our future generations. So when I work with couples, Typically, I work on a program of gene edit, which means if the six generations have had diabetes, cancer, asthma, we make sure that in the offspring children, those faults would never show up again. Of course, it's a long program, year, 18 months or 24 months sometimes, but it's in your hands to change your program. Alright? Okay, namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Let your life get Mickey Mice, Mickey Mice.